If you want to hear my April update for the Partners in Cream project, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and welcome back. Or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. I have an update for these four products. You can see the little lipstick back here. This has been a good month, a really good month for a bunch of reasons. And it's good because a lot this month has not gone well. <laughs> Meaning life, the four letter word sometimes, right? So um, it's been really nice that the panning has gone well. So let's just, uh, I have to stop using so, I don't know what's going on today. Let's just not do that. And let's take a look at the products I'm going to be uh, talking about. The first one, let's go with the biggest one, the quad. The quad is a four pan, uh, well, quad, obviously, four pan palette that I keep refilling. And it's a nice cover effects uh, quad that is large enough that it's comfortable in the hand. You, I don't feel like I'm going to drop it or anything. And I keep emptying pans and putting more products in that I'm trying to pan. It's like my panning central for this project. If you have an opportunity to repurpose a palette like this, I highly recommend. So instead of just talking about it, let me show you. Very quickly, I want to give you some information about this project. This has go been going on for over a year now. We're in year two. And it was the brainchild of Dalin, AKA Outward Processing, and also Steph Lyons, who you hear me talk about a lot on this channel. We are very good YouTube friends. And uh, yes, they. Um, this is the second year, it's been going well. Uh, a lot of people are participating. Please uh, look up the Partners in Cream uh, panning project on YouTube. You will find a ton of videos. And that the premise is to use your cream products, which I think is lovely. So thank you so much to Dallin and to Steph for continuing on to champion this project. And I really hope that it's on next year because I'm already uh, dreading the end of this panning year because it's been so much fun. This is definitely my favorite panning project from other creators. Definitely. If uh, you have not considered, it's never too late to jump on board. If you've got a handful of cream products that you're worried about having them go bad, just jump jump on in. And uh, there's no right or wrong time to, to get started with it. And I will get back to the video. So if you're not familiar with this quad, if you are on this channel, my apologies, you already know all this information. Let's just make uh, it quick to catch everybody up. It is a four pan, of course, quad, and I love the fact that it has a mirror, it's great. And these pans, there are no none of the original pans in here. They're all uh, pans of product that I have repatriated from other places, like this is a Joe Fresh uh, Peach Dream Blush, uh, these are some um, cream bronzers from Tarte, and this is a set of three different lipsticks from uh, Urban Decay, the majority of which I've been working on has been this one down here, the brown one, a kind of metallic uh, brown. So uh, this quad, I used, uh, a, oh, my apologies, I had a little fluffy dog hair from my dog silhouette. Uh, let's go back here. So I have not touched this one at all because I want to finish this one first and then I'll move over to this one. But basically these three pans, I have been very active in using. Uh, this and this is on my face today. I have a bit of bronzer going on and I have a cream blush up here. Really enjoy these products a lot. And if anything, I've been focusing on, and there's really not very much left, that uh, brown lipstick was a blister pack. Actually, all three of these colors were a uh, blister pack. And I think you can tell I only have about one, maybe two uses of that lipstick uh, left and I'll be done. I thought that I was going to be done with this whole pan uh, for this update, but clearly I have not been dipping into it as often as I thought because, well, you'll see why in a minute. So that's all I have to say about this, other than to tell you how much it changed. I went from 132.04, 
to 131.41, which is a 0.63 gram difference from the previous month. I'm really happy about that. Um, it may not sound like a lot, but the cream products in here, I don't want to overuse. I love them all. I use them daily. They look good. And I don't want to look like cake face because I'm trying to use up products, overuse products. I, I don't think that's a great idea. So uh, yeah, 0 0.63 grams here. And it is the second last in progress. So you know there are better numbers coming. So hang on. Let's go to the next product that does not have a big change, but it's also because it's tiny. This is the Tartiste Pro Glow Highlighter. I'm using it every time I want to use a cream highlighter, and it's the majority of the time. I go for this one before any of my other highlighters in my collection. Once in a while, I just want a different effect, and therefore I'm not using this one. Well, when you are using this highlighter, it takes a tiny, tiny amount. I think eyedropper, it's, it's, I just use a, you know the, the plastic rounded um, pin needle heads? That's how much of this product I need to do both of my cheekbones and my um, uh, brow, brow bone highlight, if I choose to use this. It takes a pin head. It's ridiculous how long this is going to last me. Well, despite the fact that it's a pinhead, um, I managed to go down 0.19 grams. So almost 0.2 grams in this thing that just will not die. <laughs> I'm going to have this thing in my collection, I think, for another two years. It just, it takes forever. But I'm glad it's in this project because it makes me focus on it. Now let's go to the next product that has just about the same amount of progress as the highlighter. The highlighter had 0.19 grams down, and this, the Elizabeth Arden Smoky Plum 37, it, which is a favorite lipstick of mine, is only down 0.18. There's not a whole lot of change uh, regarding this lipstick. I do like it, but I did end up focusing on some other lip products I was trying to finish, and so this one got short shrift. It just is what it is. I keep making progress every month. It's just slow going. But 0.18, I'm still happy that I got some additional use out of it. And I thought I would have it finished for this update. I will absolutely have it finished for the next update. I'm going to ignore the lipsticks in the quad and I'm going to finish this. That was my intention last month. I didn't do it. Shame on me. I am refocusing on this lipstick. I really do like it. It is getting old. I don't know what my problem was this past month, really. So let, let me get this out of my collection. I promise you, I'm making a promise. This lipstick is done by the next update. That's it. Ultimatum. I'm giving myself an ultimatum. There we go. And now let's talk about the belle of the ball. It is my Fit Me Maybelline concealer that just will not end. <laughs> you can see definitely some uh, open spaces in the concealer. There's a lot more, but I had this in my overnight bag and obviously I went overnight and uh, it just, all of the, the beautiful windows that had appeared are now gone. But the weights do not lie, so let me tell you how much this has changed. The Fit Me went from 12.64 grams down to uh, 1130. So that is a big change. So we've, we're, we're, we're down 1.34 grams, which I'm really, really quite happy about. So that is that. And let's talk about the total. All of the weight changes, so the quad 0.63, the Fit Me Concealer 1.34, the Elizabeth Arden Smoky Plum 37 lipstick down 0 0.18, pardon me, and then the Tartiste highlighter, uh, the, the kind of liquidy highlighter, it's not liquid, it's like a cream, cream highlighter, is down 0.19 for a total of 2.34 grams, 2.34 grams, and I thought it was a lot more than that because I weighed the 37 Smoky Plum 
but didn't put the cap on the weight on the scale before weighing because last month the cap was included on the scale and so I thought wow I made such great progress on this lipstick and the answer is no no I did not make that much progress you know you, you try to mimic what you did the previous month a month has gone by mistakes happen I thought I had way more progress on this uh, month than I did but that's okay that's okay I am um, I'm okay with the progress I think that getting what is it over two grams difference on four items okay the quad has four things in it but still four items in this project and I'm pretty okay with over two grams progress uh, and speaking of if you want to take a look at the progress pictures they're coming right up and I'll wrap it up at the end So that's it. I want to just offer my predictions for next month. And that is these two products are going to be done. I am going to focus on these two like my life depends on it. I uh, have been using this one as a foundation. I think it does a great job because I really sheer it out. And I do use it quite a bit around my nose. So I'm, I'm enjoying this product, but it is getting quite old and I want it out. And same thing with this one. I really enjoy this product. Smoky Plum 37 Lipstick by Elizabeth Arden. Maybelline. I, I mean, these two are great products. They are iconic, meaning uh, a lot of people swear by them, including me. And I'm just looking forward to finishing them up so that I can do them justice and not waste any of them because they're getting too old. Uh, and they are very much the older products in my collection. And those are the products that go bad, right? And that's why they're in this project. If you're participating in any panning project, I wish you a great deal of luck over the next month, six months, year, whatever your, the span of your, your uh, panning project. And yeah, I'm... I'm good with uh, with what has happened this month. Let me know what you think. I always love to hear from you. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.